Central Minnesota to a town called Tora. I'm uh, gonna stop at K&J Lumber. They're a sawmill that does a lot of hardwood, native hardwood, which is your ashes, birches, uh, oaks, all that type of stuff. I've been going down to see their operation if possible and then to uh, maybe pick up some ash for the window boxes. We all know that it's about time I get my butt busy back on the cabin a little bit. I still haven't done much on the, the greenhouse. I gotta get some gravel and haul in before I can do much on that. Well guys, there's what the $1,100 in ash looks like. This is black ash. Pretty wood. Same stuff that's on the ceiling. After going and getting uh, ash yesterday from uh, K and J Lumber, today I got the uh, planer and the dust collector all set up in the background here. I'm gonna put a hold on the greenhouse for a couple weeks, and I'm gonna try to make my uh, window boxes or window jams and uh, trim, and get them things trimmed out some. So I hope everybody uh, will hang around and watch what's coming. Uh, not rough cut. It's been kiln dried and then planed down to uh, what they call hit and miss, which is about 15 16 of an inch thick. And I've got to get it all down to three quarter to make it a nominal thickness. It's all been no grizz over here is uh, trying to chew the ends off of the board. Come on grizz. Behave. Speaking of Grizz, he's going to be an awful big hound. But, uh, and then they go ahead and straight edge one side, which makes my life a lot easier because then I can use uh, the straight edge against the fence rail on the table saw and be able to get it down to the widths that I need. So, anyhow, I'm going to fire up this uh, noisemaker here. I finally found my earmuffs, so I'll put them on just so I don't lose any more hearing. It's going to get kind of loud in here, so I may throw some music on. So without further ado, let's get playing. Well guys, probably two, three more times through the planer. That first one's always, uh, you take a very light cut off, so make sure that everything that runs through it is uh, of equal size. Uh, right now it's sitting at seven eighths, so I want it down to three quarter and I can only take off about a sixteenth at a time with my little planer there. Well guys, that's the second time through the planer. And uh, now I gotta empty the bags on the dust collector. They filled up. And Grizzly's got his seal of approval on it all. There's a nice uh, chips from the planer. Grizz, don't eat it.
you gotta chew something up all the time, don't you? Hmm? Even them teeth. So the Grizz is just not a happy camper unless he's actually touching me. Lays right in the way of everything. Now what do you got? You'll be in pain. You'll be in pest. You gotta be good shop dog. Okay guys, there we go. Now I just have to stain it. Or oil it I should say with Danish oil. Okay, now we just go ahead and put Danish oil on it. Chris is finally patiently chewing up his stick over there. Instead of trying to chew up everything I'm working on. There, and just like that, the second one's done. Now only 10 more to go. Yeah, and then I got one more piece to make, and that's going to be the skirt that goes from the side of the trim to that side of the trim underneath here. 
That's just kind of a finished piece. She a warm, muggy one today. Guys, only another 11 to go. So, uh, I think I'm going to end this video with this one being finished off, just so everyone can see what it looks like. And uh, on the next video, hopefully I'll have all the windows trimmed out, and then we can start on uh, doing some of the trim for the uh, dormers and stuff. Not to mention, I still have all that maple for the flooring up in the loft area. I, uh, can hold off on the greenhouse just a little bit until uh, I get another job or two under the belt. But uh, there's still plenty of stuff to do around here, I guess. And the garden is doing fantastic, so I'll probably include a few clips of that from a shaky start this spring. They're definitely, uh, it definitely kicked up. I think I ended up with a total of uh, three and a half gallons of strawberries out of the strawberry patch. They quit flowering and everything, so pretty much all the berries are gone now. The raspberries are just starting. We've already got uh, almost three quarters of a gallon on them. Uh, 
blueberries. I don't know if them bushes are ever going to survive or not. They didn't do too good. Apple trees, they're struggling, but they're, they're growing. The uh, garden, kind of hit and miss. The potatoes did real well. Carrot did real well. Peas are doing real well. Uh, peppers, not so well. Some of the vining stuff is starting to die out a little bit. Although we're getting some zucchini off of them now, but the pumpkin are kind of dying off a little bit. Anyhow guys, take care. Hope to see you all on the next one.